like I got to figure out a way to just get back home. And that was when Justin and I connected. So Justin and I knew each other from banking. We were, uh, I wouldn't say we were, you know, great friends, but close enough. We'd go to lunch every once in a while and just mm-hmm. kind of, um, just talk here and there every month or so. And so, um, I really, <laughs> it's funny. I had another idea for an app that was banking related. And I remember reaching out to Justin and saying, Hey man, I got a banking app idea that I want to run by you. Cause he was still working at a bank. And I was like, I've been out of banking for probably four years at that point. And I, I just, I feel like I've lost all relevance. So mm-hmm. I'd love to kind of sit down with you. And so I sat down with him one night and we started talking through it. And, um, essentially we built the framework for this app over probably an hour long conversation. And I was about to leave. And I remember him saying something about enjoying to cook. And I was like, wait a second, you like to cook? Like I never knew this about him. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I've always kind of wanted to start a restaurant. Like, have you ever, and he was like, I've always kind of wanted to do that. And so we just went back and forth and was like, what if we, you know, what if we did it a little bit different? What if we did it without having to build out a restaurant? We just kind of bootstrapped it. And we kind of went back to our banking days where it was like, hey, you know, 90% of all restaurants fell. We love those odds. Let's go after it, you know? And it's yeah. like, how do we, you know, kind of limit our risk? And and so um, by the end of the the time that I was with him, we settled on a waffle concept. So we went you know, very naturally from like restaurant to what if we delivered breakfast? And then it was like, what if we delivered biscuits? No, everybody does biscuits. What's something that nobody else does? And so we landed on waffles. We're like, you know, Waffle House does waffles, but that's really about it other than Ego. And that's not a restaurant. And so uh, the agreement was he would come up with some recipes. I would come up with a brand and we just kind of see what happens. And so um, uh, I remember going back home, building a website, developing the the brand smashed and, um, and I came to him with it and he was like, you know, it was just kind of like, man, this is awesome. Like, this is crazy. Like, mm-hmm. this, uh, this may this, work. We're, we're doing this. Yeah, we're going to do it. And so um, he ended up, you know, we make, made a few waffles, put them in some, it was around Christmas time. So I remember we went out and bought t-shirt boxes. So mm-hmm. like that you would like put shirts in yeah. to wrap as like Christmas gifts. He and, said, he said you guys went and delivered them to like. Yeah. I just dropped a, them off. A bunch of businesses. Yeah. How many, how many did you make? Do you remember? Uh, 200 sticking out of my head. I don't know if that's accurate. Uh, we did have, um, somebody that bought them as Christmas gifts for their clients. And so I remember like we had a few hundred that we would, we actually had purchased, but you know, the first time when we went to just drop them off, I think we dropped them off at maybe a dozen or so businesses. We were just, Uh and again, we were just trying to prove it. That's really my theory on anything is like the market will always tell you whether or not it's good. And if you don't get that initial pop on something, then, and, and I think that you say I'm good at marketing. It's, it's not even that I'm good at marketing. It's like, I'm gr- great at testing things. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like, all right, let's test it. There's a million products that I've tried to put out there that don't work, that never see the light of day that mm-hmm. you'll never hear about. And I'm yeah. just like, I know when to pull the plug. And I'm like, I'm not going to be married to an idea just because I think it's a good idea. If yeah. the market doesn't think it's a good idea, that's all that matters. Then it's probably not one. So, um, and that was the conversation now with him is like, Hey, if we can just go test it and see what the response is, then we'll know, you know? And so, um, we found out pretty quickly. We had to shut the site down within a couple hours because we were making them out of his kitchen and, uh, we just got inundated with orders and we weren't ready. So we, oh. we paused the website, uh, found a commercial kitchen that we could operate out of. And freaking Justin, I mean, like he's, he's crazy. I mean, you, you'll come to learn this. You probably already know this. He, he was like, I'm going to quit my job. Like he's out there, man. He, like, you know, he just, he, he's, he's like, um, he's very, he's more energetic than I expected. <laughs> like you're definitely the more chill when you're both kind of up there, but you're definitely the more chill one. It yeah, seems. Yeah. And Justin's like, what's up, man? How are you? Yep, hey, yep. how let's do this thing. You want to, you want to start nuggets? Let's do it. Say it. Let's do it. Let's yeah. put a logo on it. And, he's, yeah. a, he's always level 10, man, for sure. And, and so that was like, it, I, I just remember being inspired by that. I was like, man, this guy, cause I, it's funny. Like when you start to become known as somebody that like has done ideas and been, you know, marginally successful, a lot of people come at you with ideas. And so like, mm-hmm. I would always sit down with people and they're like, Hey, I have this idea, like the nug thing. It's like, Oh, yeah. that's amazing. You know, like, this is probably how you could do it. And, and I would try to help them and 90% of them would never do anything. They're just mm-hmm. like, okay, yeah, that's cool. And they just would never take the advice or just like never take the jump. And that was the thing about Justin is like, he was like, all right, I'm quitting my job. And I'm like, whoa, like I didn't want this guy's blood on my hands. I was yeah. like, hey man, I don't know. Like this may not be a good idea. And he's like, no. Nah, he was like, it's is... all right. Chloe's got it. Yeah. He's With like, Sensi. 